Hey, what is up YouTube and welcome back to a super fun video guys. Today we're going to do a little experiment with this $100 bill right here and a magnet. Uh, a lot of you may not even know this, but nowadays our ink that we use to print banknotes is actually magnetic. So uh, bills actually have a little bit of a magnetic property. And we're going to test that today and do a little experiment and I'm going to show you how to do it. And here's what you're going to need if you want to do this at home. Uh, you're going to need a newer banknote. It doesn't have to be a hundred dollar bill. This is just what, ha what I happen to have on me. Uh, some of the lower denominations will work as well. You're going to need a neomadium magnet. This is a very strong rare earth magnet. I'm going to be using this screwdriver right here and this has the little the little socket pull out it's got like the little magnetic tips that can pop out so we're gonna get we're, we don't even need this piece right here we're gonna get rid of that and then you're just gonna need a pen or a pencil and uh, a cardboard box I'm actually gonna use this nickel box that already has holes punched through them so that'll make this a little bit easier and so the first thing that you want to do is use your pen or pencil and you want to poke a hole into the cardboard and go all the way through I'm gonna show you uh, go going through the bottom. I'm going to use the pen uh, and like I said these have already got holes punched in there for me so this will be really easy. I'm just going to pop it in and push it through letting it hit the bottom of the table. There we go. Push it all the way down and just make sure that it's standing straight up just like that. Okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the hundred dollar bill and we're going to fold this. We're going to just fold it in half the long wise and then we're going to open it up and fold it the opposite direction, lengthwise, just like that. And now if you put a really good crease in that bill, that'll actually help it balance a little bit easier. So we should be able to set that right there. There you go. It's perfectly balanced. Look at that. Should be able to just bump it and it'll spin. Perfect. We want it to be able to, to move like that freely uh, so we can show you the power of the magnet working. All right, now that we got it balanced, let's go ahead and introduce the magnet to the bill. Now doing this, uh, we're gonna be able to manipulate the bill and make it move. There's actually iron filings that are in the, uh, the magnetic ink and the magnet is uh, actually pulling on those iron filings and that's what causes that bill to move, its magnetic field. So we can actually move the bill. Uh, we can actually touch it and uh, pick it up just a little bit, as you can see there. We can make it go the other direction. There it go. Whoop. It's trying to trying to grab on. So we can actually manipulate the dollar bill, make it spin. Uh, like I said, you, if you had a stronger magnet, you would actually be able to pick this dollar bill up. Uh, as you can see here, it's just a little too weak. It can't quite pick it up, but it does attract quite well, as you can see there. Now, the reason that we use magnetic ink nowadays is to help detect counterfeits. Uh, like I said, the magnetic ink doesn't soak all the way into the paper and it actually leaves a texture that you can actually feel with your fingers. Uh, now, if you were to use regular ink, you wouldn't be able to feel that texture. It would soak all the way into the bill. But on, as you can see here, you can actually see that the ink raises up off of the paper. Uh, that's actually little iron filings uh, in, in the ink, so it gives it some texture so you can feel it. The other way is obviously uh, machines can detect uh, its magnetic field and it can detect whether or not it has a magnetic field. And if it doesn't, then, then the machine knows that it could more than likely be counterfeit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe, share, post your comments down below. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.